Oh, oh, oh. well, <laughs> hello there. Let's talk about the year 2022 in review. Don't mind this inflammation. Had a little uh, occurrence with uh, whatever it was that didn't want to be in my body. I uh, hopefully I'm not going to take too much of your time to talk about the things that um, I really come away with this year. Oh, guess what? Guess what? I got a haircut. Oh, first time in like, honestly, two years. I've been trimming all my split ends. Yesterday I found one that was like a split end, a split end, a split end, a split end, a split end. Like it was just, it looked like a, what are the individual things that come out of a, of a feather? Ferals, Featherals, there needs to be a name. I probably should close this up. Um, yeah, so you have the feather, and then you have the spine, I'm guessing, and then you have the individual little things that come off the side. Those things. It looked like my hair did that, and I was like, oh. Evolved from, for those that you believe, to not uh, having that, to then going back to that. So that was very interesting. Um, today is December 14th. Oh my gosh, almost done with the year. And in this year, guess what? I've accomplished much. I've accomplished much uh, overall in my life. I've progressed my treasure bag business, treasurebag.com. Have multiple accounts that they're buying more at a time than I ever sold ever at once. Uh, in the years prior. Did the farmer's market, oh my gosh, so amazing. Let me just tell you how wild it is to have something that I've been making for years and then present it in front of people and then see and interact with them, their reactions and how they see the product. And, and even those that are like, no, I that's silly or great product, I'm not buying it. Great idea. Your, you know all of the things you know that people say and, and what a what a truly a blessing and that I think that's probably the biggest part of what I'm feeling right now is like how true how true I mean really really blessed I am for real um, in my life there's been some unfortunate things that have happened we won't really get into that stuff at this moment because uh, you know um, they're getting resolved and you know uh, that's that's part of life too, uh, but you know, um, probably shouldn't say uh, as many times. Sorry, this little windy part of the room. But tr truly, feel blessed. I absolutely feel overwhelmed, uh, and um, was feeling quite anxiety for some time. I uh, paid off my vehicle. Um, that was, that felt really great. I turned 40 years old. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. I am 40 beautiful years old and I feel great. Uh, doctor says I'm a little pre-diabetic not to violate any HIPAA laws, but I'm just letting you know that they said that maybe some of my figures could be a little on the, you know, less than desirable side. So that's, that's, you know. Riley needs to exercise a little bit more, and that's fine. We he we can do that. Um, not that he and I are different, but you know, maybe we are. Uh, and I mean, <laughs> maybe maybe so. No, I'm just kidding. Maybe I mean we all probably feel different sometimes, all the time, all the time. Sometimes we probably sometimes feel different. I mean, most of us. Anyway, it's a bunch of nonsense, but you know, but it all makes sense. If you know, then you know. So I turned 40, I ran for mayor again. I got second place. Yes, uh, it was only two of us, but that's fine. Um, you know, looking at politics, uh, local elected, you know, local politics um, has been what a what a wonderful experience the last 11 years. Um, I have two more years to go. Um, actually, I don't know if that's 
necessarily true. Made some amazing breakfast this morning, uh, which was russet potatoes fried um, with some onions, garlic, coriander, cumin, and then a, a nice chicken cutlet uh, with some, I forget what it was, owl's spice or something, and then just chop that up with some eggs and some truffle hot sauce and amino acids. My goodness, what a combination. Could have used some goat cheese, that would have been pretty good. Get a little creaminess in there. But, oh, and I put a little bit of plantain, plantain chips. So, so feeling, feeling pretty good with that. And um, yeah, uh, had some wonderful experiences with other people as well. Um, I've, uh, it's just been about a full year actually that I have been going to therapy. Um, and, and what a thing, what a thing to go to and participate in after my entire life, not thinking it was something that was for me. Um, there's been some, you know, perspective shifts and some insights and, um, ways to reframe, uh, thought processes, uh, read a ton of, read, uh, I don't even know how many books, a lot of books I could probably, um, cut in with that information if I counted it all, um, but a lot of books, it's been really great, um, and, you know, just keep, keep going with a smile, uh, has been pretty, pretty uh, helpful looking for joy oh you know and looking at like the beauty and like oh my gosh it's so beautiful but like sitting with that and really feeling um, happiness with being here breathing the air standing my health whatever it is however it is uh, being grateful for it at that moment that I'm here simply I'm here um, existing, which I just finished, uh, uh, starting messages. Ooh, look at that. It <laughs> couldn't have timed that better, huh? Starting messages by Neil Tyson Degrassi. I should know how to say his name. I, I just listened to his audiobook, but, um, you know, the actual odds of being alive versus the potentiality of human existence is so unbelievably minute to just be alive is is amazing it's amazing so just putting things in a new numerical um, appreciation uh, you know because why not that helps connecting with people oh oh my gosh oh my gosh what a lucky guy I am to have the honest to goodness, support, love, um, belief, all of the things that um, qualify as like, I am a decent human, um, and to be said and uh, uh, seen by somebody else has been totally a game changer, and I know that I have people who love and support me, and um, you know, and it's been uh, a rather wonderful, oh, it gets so hot in here. Look at this guy. Look at this, walking around the world without leaving Lincoln City. This guy, great, wonderful smile, beautiful smile this man has, was uh, hit by a car and uh, they did this um, event to, to raise money for him. Oh my gosh. And uh, so I bought a couple t-shirts. But uh, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Don't, I uh, mean, you know, I'll take the test if I need to take the test. I, it's fine. It's just a little cough. Oh, so just um, honestly appreciating beauty and being happy, laughing, my guts, laughing till my, st my stomach hurts, realizing that my kids change. Oh, my goodness, these kids. They change, you know, and um, it's so, sometimes it feels so easy to be sad over who they're not, 
and who they used to be. And, um, and then like, I feel like I missed something. And then I was like, <laughs> but look who they are today. Look who they are right now. Look how amazing they are. They're doing so well. Look at, you know, given all the circumstances and everything that's going on and their sweethearts and, you know, they're doing good work and, and you know, I still um, give them hugs and kisses, you know, and so it's been, um, you know, oh, what can I appreciate? You know, how can I appreciate? Um, and, you know, just keep it growing. I just feel what especially with this food in my belly happiness i'm in a wonderful wonderful relationship i can i will tell you that so many times you know uh i thought this the relationship that i was in this is the relationship and i'm, I'm gonna I'm going to do it and I'm going to give it everything. It's going to be awesome. And, um, and I did, I absolutely did. I, um, you know, have been heartbroken many times in my life and, um, and it's been, I've been wonderful to be in a relationship without it being like, essentially like work if that makes sense and and, and it probably will um, for those of you that have had relationships that felt like work and then when in relationships that don't feel like that um, then you're like wait a second is this is this right is this really what's happening um, and is this real and, and, and that's cool. And, and I try not to let my anxiety self like go into that because, um, <laughs> because my anxiety is so good. No, um, no, but seriously, and, and reframing anxiety to be creativity. That was a, that was cool too, to see, to say, yeah, anxiety is, yep, yep. It's there. And how creative am I that I could come up with these scenarios and situations that, oh my gosh, they're so believable. They just make me all, blah, you know, um, and then I, I don't want to feel that way. Um, so I needed to reframe that, you know, in a different way. So how, what would that be? How would that be? And framing it into creativity was, um, oh, you're so good at being creative, you know? And then looking at that, I'm like, oh, so you're creative and it comes easy to you. How could you do that? Do, can you tell stories? You know, what, what about it? These were in my, these were in my, um, vent, which I need to take out because they're like jammed in there. So, so that was like one of the biggest things, um, to be in a relationship that was really is still really nice it's nice and there's no like stress and I'm not feeling like I gotta do something or you know be something I'm me I'm really me and and this is who I am and though I was in love and had all of the wonderful feelings before, you know, ultimately all those relationships didn't work. You know, we, we, I tried, they tried, you know, and um, it didn't, it didn't work. And so forgiving myself because forgiveness is the gift you give yourself, right? So that I no longer have to hold on to that has been pretty, pretty, um, important. Ooh, guess what? Repurpose this mask. Let's make something together. Let's make a thing. Um, <clears throat> so, so that was pretty big to like <clears throat> forgive myself over my failures, you know? And, you know, I, I really tried and really believed that things would work and, 
do it and it just didn't so you know how much of this I'm gonna put out there I don't know but um, because I think if I've been able to do it, I think other people are able to do it too, you know, um, as difficult as it was for me, I still did it. I still, you know, kept, kept positive and wanted to be happy and, oh, there's a cookie in there. <laughs> and look at this, it's a cookie. Should I eat it? Mm-hmm. It's fine. It's 11.30. It's cookie time. Okay? Um, so I'm trying to make something. And then I'll wrap it with this. But it's not really wrapping really well. It's not really presenting that it wants to be wrapped. Um, you know, I'm forgiving myself. What, what can I say? <laughs> it's important, <laughs> you know, and knowing that, you know, I can't change anybody and everybody's really, everybody is allowed to think what they want and do what they want. And ultimately everybody does. And so like believing that, that everybody's going to do what they want to do is what they end up doing that is like a game changer too because you know um it just unraveled because it's important you know to let them be who they are how they want to be what they're about and just accept it you know oh also reactions right the only thing you can control is how you react to something that was big that was a big thing for me too was knowing that really the only thing I'm in control of is that reaction so how am I gonna do that you know how am I gonna do and what am I gonna do you know am I gonna be more calm for my own self and recognizing oh my gosh like if things were a certain way holy smokes becoming more in tune with my body who boy not boy who yeah i could say who boy because i'm a boy i would identify as boy but oh my goodness <clears throat> what a change of events to like accept that like I feel and and I feel holy smokes do I feel and that's totally cool because guess what it's part of this existence is to feel right that's why I'm kind of a human it's because I can I mean we all I think a lot of things feel maybe not everything but a lot of things feel and you know and so it's important to like honor those um, entities for their ability to feel. These are all found on the beach, by the way, if you were wondering. I have a big one. Pelican. Look at that. Bigger than my head. Bigger than my head. I'm coming through instead. I don't know, make a sound? Let's make a sound. Bye bye for now.